Here are 10 cool accessories for podcasts and also video podcasts, with the first one being the Samson Q9U. That's the mic that I'm using right now that you can hear. This mic comes in at $99, and I think it's one of the best mics you could put your money to. I always love tech that you can invest in early on and that it can grow with you. And what's cool about this mic specifically is that it's a USB mic, but it also is an XLR mic, and it also gives you the ability to plug in headphones so that you can monitor your audio. I think this is one of the most slept on pieces of gear that nobody really knows about because other mics and brands get better limelight, but Samson Q9U, bro, this is pretty tight. It would be important to know though that when you buy this mic, you do need to figure out a solution that will hold it. So you can either get a desktop stand or get a boom arm like I'm using right here. We'll post links down to everything that I'm talking about in the description below, but the Samson Q9U, a phenomenal microphone for podcasting and even live streaming. This next piece of gear are the headphones that Joe Rogan actually uses for his podcast. These are the Sennheiser Professional HD 280 Pro, but these come in at around $96 at the time of shooting this video. And for something that very high level podcasters use to be very affordable in this regard is pretty sweet. And speaking on the topic of monitoring audio, I think it's worth talking about the Shure SE215 Pro in-ear earphones. And what's cool about these is they also come in at $100, but these ones are less noticeable. So if you wanna monitor audio, you kinda of like, kind of look like FBI agent with your in-ears like this. Now, if you have an in-person podcast or you're considering starting one with two or more people, I would encourage you to look into the Zoom PodTrack P4 recorder. It has four XLR inputs and allows you to capture your audio on an SD card. And this comes in at $149 at the time of shooting this video. It has great reviews. I have friends that also use it as well. The thing is, is you're gonna wanna use mics that have XLR outputs. But probably the biggest feature about the Zoom PodTrack P4 is that it powers the mic because you can't just plug an XLR mic into anything that has an XLR input. It actually needs power to activate that mic and the Zoom PodTrack has phantom power, which is pretty sweet. The next solution kind of makes it more convenient to conduct in-person and interviews if you're on the go, and that is by using the Rode Wireless Go 2. And what I love about the Rode Wireless Go 2 is it comes in at $260 at the time of shooting this video here in the US. You're getting two mics, so one mic for you and one mic for the person that you're interviewing. And then it also has one receiver, so if you need to plug this into a camera or a smartphone, you can just plug this one thing and then it's getting both audios. But now what's really cool about this is that they have internal recording. Imagine this situation. You use your smartphone for your podcast, you hit record, and then you capture your audio just on the mics themselves. And then later you could plug them into your computer or laptop and grab the high quality audio files that are saved onto this, which is a super cool and fail proof way of capturing a high quality conversation. I think they're great if you're on the road, you can either hold the mic like this while you're talking, you could clip it onto a shirt, or you can even plug in a lavalier mic and then have that clipped on. I invested into this Telesyn charger and case. Not only does it hold them all together really nicely, but it also charges it, it's pretty sweet. This Ulanzi wireless microphone is great for the smartphone. This is 50 bucks. You actually get the charger and the two mics. The one receiver just plugs into your iPhone or if you get one for Android. Again, links down to everything in the description below. Now, like I mentioned, none of these products are sponsoring this video. These are just things that I think would be great to consider for your podcast, but I do wanna thank the sponsor of this video, and that is Epidemic Sound. If you're looking to level up your podcast or your video podcast with great intro music, Epidemic Sound is a great solution as they provide awesome royalty-free music for creators. And even more than music, you can also find certain sound effects if you maybe have a logo stinger and you need a whoosh. Epidemic Sound is really one of the best options to go with. And if you wanna check them out, I'll post a link to them down in the description below as that special link will actually give you a special offer so you can try them out for yourself and level up the audio experience of your podcast. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Now continuing on using your smartphone to level up your podcast, the Shure MV88 is one of the best onboard mics for smartphones and literally it sounds insane. I'm gonna do a test. So this is the onboard mic quality out of my iPhone 13 mini. I'm here in my studio and this is how it sounds. I'm going to plug in the MV88. And right now you are hearing the Shure MV88 plugged into my iPhone, literally a podcast studio in your pocket. But if you had a podcast that maybe it's just you and 
you just wanted to record audio, or maybe you use this for an interview and you can just move the mic as you need when you ask the question. I always keep it in my kit. I always travel with it. That's the Short MB88, an awesome mic for podcasting and voice recording. This next piece of gear is the Comica Link Flex. It's essentially an adapter for XLR microphones. If I wanted to plug in the Samson Q9U right now via XLR into this, I can then plug this into my smartphone or camera. And you know, a lot of the times people are buying crazy things like the Rode Podcaster. This is literally a very affordable option that does the same thing. And you can get the one XLR version for $49 or get the dual XLR version, which is what I have right here. And that is $89. It takes a nine volt battery, but Nolan actually uses this with his home desk setup because he plugs in this mic into this, and then this goes into his camera. And then he only has one source for video and audio audio with his capture card. And so that's a cool piece of tech here for podcasters, the Comica Link Flex. So maybe your podcast is the online interview type podcast where you're doing interviews online. I want to encourage you to consider using a camera that you already own. And some things that will allow you to do this really come in at under 70 bucks, maybe even less. But the first thing is going to be a power adapter for your camera. So right now I have a Canon R10, but a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually get a, a continuous power adapter so you don't have to worry about battery. This plugs right into a wall outlet or what have you, and you'll never have to worry about battery. Then the next two things that you want to invest in is number one, an HDMI cable, specifically one that would work with your actual camera. And most cameras are using micro HDMIs, but some Canons use mini HDMIs, but just make sure you get the right one. But micro HDMI to full HDMI, and then that plugs into a capture card. The capture card turns the HDMI HDMI cable into a USB input and allows you to grab the video feed from the HDMI. It's such a cool and inexpensive way to use a camera you already own as a webcam so that when you're doing your online interviews, you look absolutely drippy crispy. This next recommendation is one that we absolutely love, and that is the use of StreamYard for your online interviews. You know, what I love about StreamYard is it's a web-based software that allows you to easily send a link to a guest, and you can actually use it for an online interview. Now, what I love about StreamYard as opposed to other ones, it's not just meant to record you and your guests, and then you have to edit it later. You can actually conduct the interview in real time and use the transitions that StreamYard includes to put your guests in full screen mode, to then go to split mode. You or somebody else can like DJ a conversation and at the end of the conversation, the edit is almost pretty much done. You can also live stream your conversation and interview into a Facebook group or your Facebook page or your YouTube or do it all at the same time. I've tried a lot of solutions and I think StreamYard is just one of the best for beginners. The next recommendation is the Logitech Mevo Start 3 Pack. We made a video on this kit and it really is a great solution for a lot of people. You know, you can literally travel with three cameras and then conduct a multi-angle podcast, all controlling it with your smartphone. Now, I would say it's not like the greatest quality in the world. It captures 1080 video, but I think if your audio is good and the content of the conversation that you're having or your podcast is good, you don't really have to worry about super, super high 4K quality every angle, right? And this kit has incredible reviews. You can even just get one for about $350 or get as many as you want and build them out. They work best if you have really good lighting as any camera does, but that is the Logitech Mevo Start 3 pack. The next recommendation is the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro. This is $295 at the time of shooting this video. You can find them used, but this is a camera switcher. You could plug up to four cameras into this, and then you actually can capture to an SSD. It captures 1080, and it looks really good. What's also cool about it is that you can use the USB out and plug it into your computer, and it becomes a webcam. I recommend it if you have a multi-angle podcast. A lot of the times when you invest into equipment like this, you're buying time. You're removing the part in editing where you're choosing each angle after the fact of a conversation. And if you have a long podcast, like 30, 40 minutes, then you're gonna want something like this in your kit. So I know that was way more than 10 gear and accessories, but just wanted to get things on your radar. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. If you got value, hit that like button. And if you wanna check out another video from us here at Think Media, click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future one. Peace.